The activities of the South African Reserve Bank impact on the lives of all South Africans and all sectors of the economy. At both home and in South Africa's industries, as well as in the service sector, the financial wealth of our people is guided by the actions of the Reserve Bank through the application of monetary policy. As soon as you buy anything or make a financial transaction, the Reserve Bank monitors and facilitates the clearance of the funds used in that particular transaction. The Reserve Bank oversees the safety and soundness of the payment system and provides for the final settlement of transactions. When you visit a commercial bank, the Reserve Bank's policies affect every transaction, protecting you. This is done firstly by monitoring the financial risks that banks undertake and secondly by providing lender of last resort or emergency assistance to banks in order to protect the public from risks. In its pursuit of financial stability, the bank supports the development of sound, well-managed banking institutions. In order to provide certain central banking services to all its customers spread out over the large geographical area of South Africa, the Reserve Bank has established a network of branches and subsidiaries like the South African Mint and the South African Bank Note Company. The money in circulation is produced by the Reserve Bank. The South African Mint is considered one of the most modern in the world and can produce millions of coins per day. The Mint also produces collector's coins, like the Krugerrand, which are sold at a specialty shop, Coin World. Like the wild animals in the grounds outside the Mint, collector's coins are usually uniquely African. Designs such as these, depicting Nelson Mandela and struggle stalwarts Albertina and Walter Sisulu, consistently win the Mint international awards. Banknotes are produced by the South African Banknote Company. The primary goal of the Reserve Bank is the achievement and maintenance of price stability. This means that the bank strives to keep inflation in the South African economy at an acceptable level in accordance with the flexible inflation targeting framework. Broadly speaking, it means that inflation should be within the target of 3 to 6 percent. Prices should therefore not go up excessively, but rather on average by not more than 6 percent. Inflation is a sustained, rapid increase in prices over months or years, which decreases the purchasing power of money. It affects the fixed wage earners in the worst possible way and is a disincentive to save. The target for inflation is set by government, but the instruments that need to be applied to achieve this target are left to the discretion of the bank. This means that the bank can decide how to combat inflation by using the best available methods that may apply at a particular time. The independence of the Reserve Bank is entrenched in the Constitution. The bank is accountable to Parliament as the representative body of all the people of South Africa. The governor of the bank regularly reports to Parliament. One of the bank's principal objectives is to complement the price stability objective through formulation and implementation of macroprudential policy measures to limit the costs of system-wide risks and distress in the financial system. And, in a microprudential approach, the Reserve Bank supervises and regulates the activities of commercial banks, who are licensed under strict conditions to accept deposits from the public. The Bank Supervision Department staff work to limit the risk of depositors suffering losses, maintaining the public's confidence in the banking system. International best practice is followed by also ensuring compliance with anti-money laundering and anti-terrorism financing legislation. The board, including the Governor and Deputy Governors, is responsible for the governance of the bank. The Governor chairs the Monetary Policy Committee MPC, who, advised by analysts and researchers, make decisions on the appropriate monetary policy stance at a particular time. At its meetings, the members of the MPC have to agree on the likely future path of inflation. All the factors that may have an impact on inflation are assessed in order to make an informed decision on the repurchasing rate or repo rate. The repo rate is the rate that commercial banks would pay when they approach the Reserve Bank for credit. 
the change in the repo rate would be transmitted to other interest rates in the financial system, including lending rates like the prime rate. Through the transmission mechanism, the change in interest rates would eventually impact on inflation. A live televised press conference is held at the conclusion of the meeting to explain how the committee came to the decision on the interest rate and interacting with the public and concluding with a question and answer session. Since the introduction of inflation targeting in South Africa in the year 2000, the monetary policy environment has become more transparent and predictable through improved communication through monetary policy forums conducted twice a year in all the provinces of South Africa. The Reserve Bank publishes a monthly statement of assets and liabilities and submits an annual report to Parliament. The research department in particular produces and analyzes economic data to enable the bank generally and the Monetary Policy Committee in particular to understand fully the current performance of the South African economy and the direction in which it is headed. The Reserve Bank regularly publishes its findings, providing statistics and analysis to the public through a wide range of publications and has become a knowledge bank for economic and financial data. Since the Reserve Bank was established, it has managed the largest part of South Africa's gold and foreign exchange reserves. The bank trades in the spot, forward and swap foreign exchange markets. The Reserve Bank's operations in the foreign exchange market are aimed at servicing requests of its clients, mainly the government, and improving reserve levels. The Reserve Bank does not seek to impact the level of the RAND in any direction. The management of reserves in the bank is conducted according to an investment policy. The South African national payment system has developed into an efficient and sophisticated environment. Payment systems not only include payments made between banks, but also involve the settlement of trade in financial instruments such as bonds, equities and derivatives. Networks include the bank-owned automated teller machines, ATMs, internet banking facilities, branch networks and payment instruments. The banking industry also uses electronic fund transfer EFT mechanisms, debit cards and credit cards. The Reserve Bank also clears interbank settlements, facilitating banks to settle their obligations on a real-time basis. Under the Reserve Bank's SAMOS system, if a bank has insufficient funds, it will automatically and electronically be granted a loan against acceptable collateral. The South African Reserve Bank College manages a one-year cadet graduate program which covers the operations of a central bank and equips young graduates to work in the financial world. Each cadet is assigned to a department in the Reserve Bank to complete the practical workplace training. The Reserve Bank also considers cadets for permanent positions at the end of the program. The Reserve Bank and its current governor, Jill Marcus, have introduced a culture of openness, encouraging communication and dialogue with staff and external stakeholders. The South African Reserve Bank, a strong, credible presence, not only in the South African economy, but on the world stage. The South African Reserve Bank an institution of excellence.